Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're in the M3, well, outside the M3. And a few people have asked me, basically, can you show a little more detail with your install with the dash camera? And I say, sure. And I might have ran through it pretty quickly. I think it was just kind of like showing the basics. Hey, here's where the fuses go. Here's kind of random wire. And here's how you connect the camera. Um, you know, and I think, you know, doing it three times, uh, it just, I might have, you know, I did, you know, on the X5 and then, then the IS. Uh, I think I just probably felt like, okay, most people probably understand, but um, just going back, you know, people maybe first time watching, here's a more in depth um, install. I'm just gonna, I mean, the camera is already installed right now, but at least I can cover a little more of the details of where I routed the wire and which fuse I connected to. So let's get started. I have a flashlight with me too, so it should help. The cord runs up here. I ran the cable up here and I used the fastener, which came with the camera, it's a Blackview camera. It's just, you know, it sticks on and it connects. And up here through with the headliner, I just was able to tuck it. It doesn't actually physically stick anywhere. I said, you just can tuck it in and it stays. And then coming down through the headliner, if you can see that, I was able to pull it behind the A pillar. And that's all you're doing is when you get it here, so when it comes across, you can actually pull this back a little bit, pull the cord in. And from this point, you can then pull it behind the, where the airbag is. And all of that, you know, if you watch the video, you'll see that it was more likely me tucking it through this little crack. I brought it around and this is all hidden. You can feel it. I can actually feel the cord behind the um, rubber stripping, but the cord is actually behind the rubber stripping. Um, is actually underneath here. This just peels off. Um, I had a little difficulty putting that back on. I really didn't want to pull this up again, but this pulled, pulled this up. And then coming around to the back seat was really easy because once I got it through here, it was an easy process. And all I did was basically grab the wire and just folded it under here. So I can still feel the wire. There it is. Can you see it? There's a the wire. So I'll just put it back in there, tuck it back. You can tuck it all the way in here. You can see a little bit sticking out there tucked right there it's showing a little bit um under the seat right and you can hide that anywhere you want i actually had it around the front of this but i ran out of wire so it might have actually pulled a little bit Then from here, if your seats come down, wire comes all the way across. I use this bolt for my ground. And then I originally in the video, I used my wire fuse taps. And I used um, one of these fuses here. I didn't like it because these fuses were always active when a car wakes up. 
in my video, I was thinking, well, that's fine because when I, you know, do anything as far as, um, you know, like you know, the car wakes up, for example, if I open the door, the car is recording. If I have to, the car gets bumped and the alarm comes on. But then it became annoying because every time I open the door handle, just even just grab something out of the car, up oh, the car, the camera's starting up, you know, and then it ran, it runs for, you know, maybe five, 10 minutes. Then, you know, open the door again, oh, another restart. And it just felt like it kept constantly recording. I didn't really want it recording, especially I'm in the garage and the car is driven very much. I didn't want it just constantly like coming on and recording. So I moved it over to one of these fuses. This is 146. Um, it was a five amp uh, fuse. You see here, the way I have it arranged, the existing fuse goes in the bottom. And new fuse goes on top. Since it was a five, I couldn't go any lower. Uh, so I went to a five and it works perfectly. And like I say, you crimp the wire. It was just one power wire for the Blackview uh, hard wire kit. And it goes there. All right. That's pretty much all my install. The camera works. It comes on when the car comes on. When I turn the car off, the car goes off. I mean, the camera goes off. All right. Now, if you prefer to have the setup where you want to run a battery pack or you want it to record um you know like while you know, have like a parking mode you'll then you can use one of these fuses that way it'll tell the, the box when the car is off the you know the camera when the car is off and then this can stay on you know at least a little bit of time i think the battery option is probably the best because it's the only one that can actually charge and run a reserve so when you're driving it's charging this battery up and then Basically, when you park and guard goes to parking mode, it charges it. Basically, charges the um, it runs with the battery. So for German cars, that's pretty much your only option. Um, hope that answers some questions. Um, I guess I was getting getting a lot. I don't know. Maybe my my uh, I get a lot of views, so I'm assuming that a lot of people have more questions. Now going forward to Lexi's install, people ask me which views I use because I updated that one too. On and no, I'm not moving this car. You know, people would ask me because well, you're too lazy to move this car. You know what? I am. All right. So I updated here. I didn't like um, the one I had before. It was always on. I moved it to this basically passenger side heated seat. That way, anything were to go wrong, at least the passenger side heated seat, driver side still works. Um, and this is what I used. The existing fuse uh, was the 15, and I went down to a seven and a half, which has been fine. Plugs in right there. And I can tell you that fuse number here in a, in a bit because I don't have, somebody asked me too, well, did you could, could put the box on? I could not put the cover back on. So the cover has to stay off. You can see I wrapped the, the cords back here. And basically, I ran the cord all the way up behind the plastic, up the A-pillar. It's really easy to do. It's not It's not hard, guys. You know, it's you just tuck it, just wire, just tuck in wire and just hiding it. That's all you're doing. Like, you know, like all this stuff can you can pull essentially down and hide. I recommend if you do it, go behind um, the airbag, not in front of the airbag. Either way, I think it's gonna be the wire could be severed if it got in the way. So uh, I think that'd be the least of your worries in the event of an accident. So here's the cover. And the 15 that I used was this one here, the 15A, front right, the bottom. All right, so this cover couldn't come back on. I had to leave it there. Just put it here in the glove box. It's never going to be used. Uh, I might even stick it in the owner's manual. It might be better. But if we sell the car, I'll take the camera out and I'll put the cover back on. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps. Any more questions, let me know.